Emergency! Emergency! <laughs> Castaway Village, raid it! Many from Mountain! Many Primordials! <laughs> if you have time, come back! Okay, we made it to the Great Tree. But now what? I don't see the Wardens anywhere. We've been expecting you, Adol. Please wait while the path to Octus opens. Octus? Look. That's a warp gate. I never imagined one would be inside the great tree. Adol, please step into the gate. Tell me anything. Roger, give me a sec. All right, it's done. Roger, give me a sec. All finished. 
Roger. Give me a sec. All right, it's done. All right, then. Take your time. See you later. All right, let's do our best. Leave it to me. Looks like they're here. Next. I'll support you. Here. <laughs> squad going smooth. Echo. <laughs> Melody <laughs> of healing. Yes. <laughs> Leave it to me. In. The wide yeah. open. Here. Let's go. The battle's what only just there? begun. It's not over yet. Everyone, charge! How about this? Here we go. Please watch over. Now, let's give it our all. Good to go. Shove off. What? Take this. I'll support you. Here's a little gift. For the beat. Ambush. Ambush. Battle record. Battle record. Be careful. Lucky squad. Even. I'm on my way. Even. Let's go. Let's be aggressive. Fine. You're done. Oh, 
My full potential. I shall reward yeah. you. Don't underestimate them. Take this. Right there. How about this? this? Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Ah, what I'm your way. Please take this. Take this. Here. Take this. Not over yet. I'll join in. <laughs> Believe in your weapon. Good to go.
that'll put some hair on your chest. Man, that burned good going down. <sighs> ah, I'm good, man. Don't worry about me. Still, as far as wild adventures go, this one definitely takes the cake. You think you'll ever stop getting us roped into trouble all the time? No. Oh, man. I guess there's no cure for being an adventure addict. Anyway, you just leave the village to me. I'll make sure it's still standing when you guys come back. Speaking of which... It's not like I'm really worried about it or anything, but... You are coming back, right? I know we're not strangers to danger, but I'm legitimately worried this time. I mean, the Lacrimosa might just be the craziest thing you've ever had to deal with. I'm just saying, I got this weird feeling you might not come back from this one. Yeah. No matter what? Uh, didn't she have a vision about that being impossible? Man. You are such a... Uh, oh, well. <laughs> it's not like I expected anything less from you. Whatever happens, you know I got your back all the way. But you gotta promise that you'll drink with me when you come back, alright? I intend to drink till my teeth start floating. What's wrong? Okay... I will... A transporter should never reveal their civilian identity. But you have helped me greatly. So I figured you should know how I got into this line of work. The Tribaldo family have operated as transporters in society's underbelly for generations. For that reason, some consider my family to be inheritors of a dark legacy, and I've always resented my father for choosing to continue that legacy. One day, when I was barely ten years old, my father and I got into a fight, and I ran away from home. I was young and had nowhere to go, so I ended up living on the streets. I was out there, shivering in the cold, when an elderly couple found me ran a small orphanage and took me in. There were lots of kids from different walks of life at the orphanage. New kids, myself included, could 
could only see despair in their futures, seeing the hopelessness in our faces. The couple brought in a street performer for us. When the show started, our eyes lit up as if someone had cast a spell to put smiles on our faces. After watching that show, I began to idolize street performers. So, when I came of age, I set out to become one myself. Hmm. Hmm. I'm self-taught and spent a long time practicing. Years later, after I had garnered some fame as a street performer, I happened to stumble across my father. He was in an alley, lying on his back. I could tell right away his wound was fatal. To this day, I still don't know if he recognized me beneath the clown makeup. He entrusted me with his cargo before breathing his last. Such is the fate of those who dwell within society's dark underbelly. I decided to fulfill his dying wish. The recipient of the contraband turned out to be a back alley doctor. However, the contraband itself was medicine to treat a spreading disease. I later heard that it was used to treat the kids who came to watch me perform. At that moment, I learned that people could still do good, even within society's underbelly. I also learned from the doctor and my father's journals that my family had influenced events throughout history. That's when I finally understood my father. And I could not stop crying. From then on, I set out to create a new legacy for the Tribaldo name. <laughs> Sounds like me. I have trouble sleeping if I don't set things right. If I hadn't told you all that, I wouldn't have been able to sleep tonight. Anyway, that's my story. Let's keep helping each other until... Aha! There you are, Adol and Hummel! What are you guys doing up there? It's super suspicious! <laughs> Perhaps it's time to climb back down. Adol. Let's keep helping each other until the end. How curious. Should we succeed in stopping the Lacrimosa? We will still leave this village regardless. We made this village together. It's bittersweet, that's all. <laughs> Come to think of it, quite a lot has happened between you and I. When we first arrived here, I was unkind to you due to my feelings toward my father and house. Perhaps I was afraid of losing my status and honor as a noble. After all, that's the last thing my father left me. But everyone I've met on this island, they're all so different, and yet they're able to live their lives with such vigor and confidence. I was so preoccupied by my fears, I didn't realize the others were saving me until it had already happened. But I understand now. No matter what circumstances may befall a person, they can still live on with pride. That's why. I wanted to properly thank you. Hmm. Yes, I don't know what the future holds for us, but I don't want to regret anything, so I thought I should tell you now. <clears throat> Which is not to say that my feelings for you are limited to gratitude. <laughs> Never mind. Now then, Dogi and the others are keeping the village safe, and we must fulfill our duties, too. Let's fight with all our might until the very end, Hadal.
Mini Primordial. I'm fed up. At all fed up. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. No, thank you very much. I'll keep an eye out. You guys do your best. Being Warden hard? Well... You guys are here now. Donna is happy. I dream. Dream of you guys. But dreams must end. What happens to the dream? <gasps> ah! I like Adolf. I like him a lot. Keep it up, Adolf. I'll watch. I'll cheer. At all. Huh? At all. <laughs> Good boy. Indeed, I am an honorable noble of the Roman Empire. Much like the Empire, my family's history and glory have endured forever. So, it will continue to endure forever. Oh, how low I've sunk, living in constant fear of raids by... And you refuse my ample, nay, generous rewards for serving me. Ah... <sighs> If this continues, 
My family's illustrious history will come to an end. Pardon? What? Why? Huh? Uh, what do you brutes want? <laughs> I put together a plan to manage our resources better. Present it to me. Huh? Hmm. This won't do at all! Huh? The quantity for this line item is far too high. And considering the total population of the village, the quantity for this line item should be... Oh, I... I get it now. This plan makes a lot of sense. As long as we stick to it, I think our resource management problems will be taken care of. <sighs> Why? I only possess this trivial knowledge because my father saw fit to beat it into me. Are you suggesting that you need my knowledge? Much as I hate to admit it, that would help us out a lot. Eureka! At all, this resource management plan shall be your reward. I... I don't know what you mean by that, but I appreciate the help. So, my inkling was correct. After all, I knew you peasants needed my help. My family's glory will not yet end here. Now hurry along, Adol. If you are successful, I may very well feel compelled to reward you again. Um... Indeed. You should all be more grateful. <laughs> we did it!
I had a feeling you could hold your own against me at all. <coughs> oh, that's the spirit. <laughs> I've still got some fight left in me. When I retired ten years ago, I was definitely feeling my years. But I feel like I've gotten younger since I came to this island. I'm not as strong as I used to be. But my movements are less wasteful. <laughs> I think fighting all those primordials might have something to do with that. Anyway, there's a point I'm trying to make. I've made up my mind just now. At all, I'm going to make a comeback at the Colosseum. <laughs> Actually, over the last ten years, I've been slowly regretting my decision to retire. But thanks to this island's environment, and you, I've rediscovered myself. I'll have my grand comeback fight once we're off this island. Now that I've decided to come out of retirement, I'm sticking with it until I die. If you're ever in Rom, please stop by and check out one of my fights. I gotta say, it's a shame that a swordsman like you hasn't been discovered yet. Why don't you give the Colosseum a shot? With your potential, you could be the strongest gladiator in the ring. <laughs> You're awesome, Adol. You truly are an exceptional young man. The sooner we escape this island, the sooner I can hear the roar of the crowd again. I'll spare no effort to help you out, Adol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Take this! Huh. 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 